Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Our topic today is mortar pump. Mortar pump, how to make schematic control diagram for mortar pump using selector switch, manual and automatic control by flow switch. I make this pictorial for everybody so that they can easily understand. See, this is very easy. This is a line one, line two, line three. This is a fuse or breaker. This is a contactor, magnetic contactor, all of this area. This is a tripping coil. This is a overload, tripping coil. This is a normally closed overload. This is a coil for contactor A1 and A2. We're gonna supply this one. And this uh, selector switch. This is manual here. When you put the switch move here, this is a manual. And the manual, when you turn to manual mode, this uh, switch energize this coil because the power circuit is going through over there. So the motor is energized. Now, if you want to put in automatic, put the switch selector to automatic, it's controlled by float switch. It's controlled by float switch. When the ma water level is low, the motor pump stop. When the water is going high level, going to high level, this one will be energized and the contactor energized, the motor will run automatically. It's controlled by float switch. That's why I say automatic on and off, on and off. It depends how big the tank. You're gonna fill up the water. So this called say, this is submersible pump or motor pump. Okay, so I make this uh, basic uh, schematic control diagram because this is very important so that I can show you how to make additional for pilot light. This is a one pin bolt for uh, circuit. This is uh, power on when you turn on the breaker, turn on the power that's Indicating lights is uh, power is you know it's on. This is additional also is uh, when the motor is energized, motor is running, contact is on. That means the motor pump is running. When this motor problem is overload, this will be open. When the problem they have problem with the motor overheat or something else or tripping or high current, this will be coil uh, trip this overload will be open to so the motor stop for running and when it stop running this normally close and normally open overload will be energized showing overload this will be energized okay so this motor pump here this is a selector switch here when you put in the middle, it's off. When you turn on the automatic and manual, this current will be go here to the A1. This is the A1 there. And then the circuit going through over there. That's why the motor is energized. And this normally open for contact. I put additional indicator light. Also energize this one. So when the motor is overload, this one open, this one here, this one close, will be indicating lights on. So now when you put in automatic, this one I told you here, the controlled by uh, float switch, this is a float switch. When this water low, contact this one is automatic. That's why I make this schematic diagram. So. As I mentioned before, my first tutorial is um, or how about the wiring, uh, wiring, uh, we're gonna make wire this, we're gonna make numbering, that's the important numbering, so that easy to troubleshoot. This is uh, numbering, wire numbering, you're gonna put end to end, number one, to put the power for the power on, the indicating light go through and this put the selector switch here 
the one here going to the middle neutral to put number one here all this number one here and then uh, this number two is going to the A1 magnetic contactor and uh, for normally open magnetic contactor also going to the when this energy is going to the light so I put number two also here number three and all this number one is number three number two three so only three numbers we use one two two and three so only three number we use today because all of this is a neutral I connect already to my uh, to my um, control so that I make it easy when I show you how to make a control wiring because that my first video in uh, first tutorial part one stick too long it's hard to it's boring it's boring that's why that's why uh, i make it nice because you know this is my this is my second time that's my first time and i'm still learning i'm still learning how to edit my video so i want to make it this second video tut tutorial is i want to make it clear and easy to everybody so i know uh, i'm sorry for my first video because i I don't know how to edit uh, my first time so I'm just still learning how to use um, Sky Master how to edit my video and how to put thumbnail that one everything but uh, how to put effect I'm still learning how to edit my video through Sky Master so I'm learning with some people tutorial okay so um, this uh, control I want to next video we gonna I make video for how to make control this to make it run for the control panel I'll show you for the next video for now I explain to you how to make this one how to make a schematic diagram for motor pump or submersible pump okay here we go before we end this video I want to explain to you because some someone asked me about the about the ac dc so and 110 to 240 volts this ac means alternating current they called alternating current because see that one here this is a wave this is a wave like in the ocean there is a wave that's why ac means alternating current dc this means direct current. This is the meaning of all of this. So why this direct current? Because there is a line here, see, it's straight. It's straight. So like a punch, straight. So that means direct current. There is a dot here. So when you see this symbol, this is the alternating current. This is a direct current. Okay. And last but not the least. Someone asked me about this 100, the, they buy some plug, iron, plug iron and uh, Christmas light. And someone friend asked me about what is this? What that means 100 to 240 volts? So before they gonna plug in, they call me because they are not sure. They don't want to blow or damage their appliances. So I explained to them this 100 volts if you see line here to 240 volt that means this is auto volts this means so if you're up let's say for example if your appliances is uh, 110 volts but this is you don't see this one that means you don't plug you just only plug to 110 volts only if you plug into 240 volts might be blown your appliances but if you see this 100 240 volts no problem to plug in to 240 volt no problem doesn't matter nothing happened but if your appliances is 240 volts and you plug in 20 volts only it will run it will not burn but the problem is it will not run properly 
but not burn, but not good. So supposed to be used in 24 volts only. So this means it's auto volts, automatic volts. Okay, that's all, my friend. And see you for my next video. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more video tutorial because now this is my second only. So, thank you very much and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye and have a good, great day. Bye.